This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, April the 7th, 2019. It's the feast day of St. Jean-Baptiste de La Salle. He was born in France in 1651. He was born of nobles and took the tonsure at the age of 11. And that was a signal that he eventually wanted to become a priest. Because of his noble rank, he was able to get the best studies. And he was at St. Sulpice pursuing his theological degree when his parents both died about a year apart. He was obliged to leave his studies and become the head of his noble household. He had to look after his six siblings and make sure that they were provided for. He was able to return to his studies about five years later and ultimately complete his doctorate in theology before his 30th birthday. Jean-Baptiste was always a learner and a teacher. He helped out with a number of newly founded religious groups in France. Some were for lay people, some were for consecrated religious, and some were for priests. His heart went out especially to the poor, the very poor who had no hope of social advancement and no real opportunity to study or to learn. It was for them that he founded the Institute of the Brothers of the Christian Schools, which we now call the Christian Brothers. It was one of the very first religious orders which included by design no priests at all except the founder. The Christian Brothers thrived in France and in the U.S. until the mid-20th century. Today is the birthday in 1506 of St. Francis Xavier, the co-founder of the Jesuits. He was there with St. Ignatius of Loyola when he decided to found an order. He was from the same Basque part of northeastern Spain and spoke the Basque language. And he was the first to volunteer to go to the missions, which were the most difficult to get to. Xavier was in Japan when Nagasaki was first evangelized. He was in southern India in the modern-day state of Goa. He is the patron of missionaries and of many missionary dioceses. He's also the patron of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, who was herself a great missionary and saint in Italy and in the United States. Francis Xavier died in 1552 and is buried at the cathedral in Goa in India. Finally, today is the birthday of William Wordsworth, born in 1770 in Cockermouth, Cumberland, in the Lake District of Northwestern England. He was one of the fathers of the Romantic Age of English literature, along with Samuel Taylor Coleridge. The two launched the Romantic Era with their joint work, Lyrical Ballads, in 1798. Wordsworth was the National Poet Laureate of England from 1843 until he died in 1850. Here's a poem for today entitled, Composed Upon Westminster Bridge, September 3rd, 1802. Earth has not yet anything to show more fair. Dull would he be of soul who could pass by a sight so touching in its majesty. This city now doth like a garment wear the beauty of the morning, silent, bare. Ships, towers, domes, theaters, and temples lie open unto the fields and to the sky, all bright and glittering in the smokeless air. Never did sun more beautifully steep in his first splendor, valley, rock, or hill, ne'er saw I, never felt a calm so deep, the river gildeth at his own sweet will. Dear God, the very houses seem asleep, and all that mighty heart is lying still. Composed upon Westminster Bridge, September 3rd, 1802, by William Wordsworth. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.